I didn't, I didn't mean to do that loud. Okay. So 73, we're talking about a new opener, number six opener. You don't have your book? No, I don't. Whoopsie. Like I maybe you should scoot over or you scoot that way if somebody scoots. Uh, I, I just I'm looking for I I lost the bill and I'm wondering if like maybe the exact thing like is it on Yeah, it's Paisley, yeah, that's it. Well, no, no, yeah, Paisley, Paisley, it's you. <laughs> She's watching. <laughs> I'm not blaming him. I'm just teasing. But I'm maybe the bookstore likes that. No, maybe not. Maybe it's a I grabbed it. You I'm are forgiven. <laughs> it's all Jesus. <laughs> okay. VSS stands for very short sentence. Very technical. VSS, very short sentence. And that sounds weird, but it's true. This is something you're going to eventually start adding to your checklist. And then when you do your uh, writing, you'll make sure to include one very short sentence. And that's because it kind of changes up the format a little bit of your paragraphs. Here comes Paisley. Just so Paisley's not watching. I know. <laughs> I don't know. Never mind. Never watch it. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you change the length of your sentences in your paragraphs, it actually makes it more interesting to read. So it gives it more style. Mm -hmm. Okay, but they're going to have these in this book, too. So a very short sentence is two to five words. And yes, two words can make a sentence. Um, and it has to have a main clause, though. So look at this example here. Robin sought adventure. That's three words. But that would be considered a VSS opener. Okay. The sentence is short because it has three words. Um, it is a sentence because it has a main clause. So it's a number six, VSS opener. And then here's another one, the wet log wobbled. It has a subject and verb, so that is a sentence. And it's a number six VSS. And then we have run on. You guys have heard that before. Sometimes, um, you remember when you were little and you used to write and you'd say, I went to my grandma's house. Hello, Paisley. Do you have her grammar book by chance? Oh, sure. <laughs> I don't We're just wondering because she doesn't know where it's at. She's like, maybe Paisley has it. It's in the store. My but let me clarify, she wasn't blaming you. She's no, just. She's just sorry. Uh huh. That's what I said too. I just oh, see. I just, uh -huh. <laughs> no, Anyways, I when you were little and you wrote sentences, you remember saying like. One day I went to my grandma's house and we baked cookies and then we watched a movie and then we played a game and game and then we went to the park and then we played with the dog and then we and then and then and then you remember writing like that when you were little? You don't remember. That's like a run on, right? You have so many things in one big sentence and it just keeps going and going and going. Well, there's a couple of errors to watch for. One of them is a fused sentence. That's right here in bold. The fuse is when you have two main clauses placed in one sentence without any punctuation. And then there's a comma splice. And that's when two main cl clauses placed in one sentence with only a comma between them. So if you have two main clauses, you should have a period between. A main clause is a sentence, okay? So you don't wanna smash those together with or without a comma. Um, and then your example of how to fix it is right here toward the bottom of the page where it says Robin noticed a log across a stream, the log looked sturdy. So you can see originally it did not have a period, it had a comma, but really it should have a period because it's two, two full sentences, two main clauses. You have your subject and verb in each. So what you do to fix it is do the little squiggly line to take out the comma, put a period in, and then the brackets show their main clauses. So pretty easy. And then, We've talked about imposter ly adverbs before because sometimes words have ly but they're not adverbs. Like the word chili, not the chili you eat, but it's chili outside. That's an adjective, even though it has an ly. So don't call it an adverb. Um, it's an adjective. Look at the sentence at the bottom of the page there. It says, the sturdy log safely spanned the chili stream. So sturdy. Log, that's describing the log, so that's an adjective. Safely spanned, because spanned is a verb, safely is an adverb. And then chilly stream is telling it's a cold stream. So that's an adjective, okay? So just watch out for those. 
Any questions about that page? Okie dokie. And who would like to read a sentence today? Okay, Mia, thank you. Okay, good. Roamed is our vocabulary. So what does roamed mean, Victoria? Wandered. Yeah, wandered, very good. Checking here. Articles, A, N, and the. Go ahead and find the one. That was easy. Okay. Yes, it is. Um, nouns. How about Serena? Where are the three nouns? Robin Hood. Yep. Forest and adventure. Good. And pronoun Paisley. Um, he. Good. He is the pronoun, so that's pr. Um, we'll come back to the prepositional phrase, unless you guys know it. Do you know where it is, Olivia? Oh, um, the prepositional phrase. Uh -huh. Oh, um, for There's adventure. Two. For adventure, that's one of them. And then through the forest. Yes, good. Through the forest, good job. Um, so Victoria, how about the main clauses? There's two. Uh, Robin Hood went through the forest. Yes. And then for adventure. Good. So we have an example of a comma splice here where they put a comma. So we should go ahead and take that out. Yes. Yes, there should be one in that box, that pool box over there. Yeah. <laughs> From the Dollar Tree. <laughs> yeah, don't put real tools in there. <laughs> um, okay. Got the clause. Oh, we were going to fix that. So do the squiggly line to take out the comma because it, it's two main clauses. So it really needs a period between. Okay. And then subject verb pair. So Mia, where are the verbs? Let's start with that. There's just one, two. Just kidding. There's two. Roamed, Roamed is one. Searched? Yes, searched is another. So Oliver, who roamed? Uh, Robin Hood. That's the subject. And then who searched? Uh, he. He. That's the subject. Good. Those are the. Now for the um, openers, I know it's kind of new to you, Asia, but what do you think Robin Hood roamed through the forest? Do you remember what the openers are? Their subject opener, what else? No. Subject. Subject. Um, preposition. And L-Y. And then we learned a new one, VSS. Yeah. I don't know if we learned number five though. Yeah. Did we? Do we know all five or all six? Yeah. Um, one, two, three. Okay, it's one, two, three, five, and six. We don't learn four oh. for whatever reason. <laughs> and I don't even remember what four is, but we have subject, prepositional, ly, clausal. That's like the www. And VSS. So, what kind of an opener do you think it is? What do you see first in that sentence? Robin Hood. And that's a noun and a subject. So, that would be a subject opener. Okay, so that's a number one, right? Yes. So, put one subject. And then, Ellie, what do you think about the next? What kind of an opener do you think that one is? A little tricky. It is a six, yes. VSS. Okay, so he searched for adventure. That one's a VSS because there's how many words are in that sentence, Ellie? Yeah. Oh. So anytime you have three to five words, it's going to be a VSS. Okay. Very short sentence. Very, yeah. Oh, you missed that part. Yes. <laughs> That's what that means. Very short sentence. You got it. Um, capitals, we're back to Serena, capitals. Oh, uh, Robin and Hood. Okay. And he. and he, good. Comma, we already fixed, and then we already fixed one end mark, and then just a period, mm -hmm. the end, end. Okay. Yes. I think that um, the grammar book is like a little too eager. <laughs> too eager? <laughs> That's funny. 
I should have waited a few pages before using it. <laughs> okay. It's an interesting comment. All right, done with that. Go ahead and get your binders out and yes. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and put away week nine from way back. I can't even remember. <laughs> like way back. <laughs> like forever ago. I can not Yes, Captain Cook. Put that away behind finished composition. I can't remember what the Couldn't either. That's pretty bad. I barely. Um, and then you're gonna get out. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and put away all of that so your front pocket's empty. Exactly. I know you have extra stuff. That's okay. And then get out week ten, which is called drone. Week ten. And one piece of lined paper. I think you guys are going to like this. We're moving into unit five because unit four was like summarizing a reference. Oh, yeah. This is different. Yeah. This one's creative. It's creative writing. So we've been doing like academic. I know. See, I knew you'd be excited about that. Remember when we wrote from pic pictures last yes. year? Yeah. Well, so, um, yes, so yeah. I remember. Paisley remembers, yeah. I'm sure. I think it's just Paisley and Oliver who had my class last year. So um, creative writing basically just means you're making up the story. You're making up the character. You're making up the situation. So some people really enjoy that. Um, I actually like academic writing a little bit better where you have information and then you write about it. Because I can't, sometimes I can't, get creative. Like, I don't know how to get my juices going sometimes. It's, I'm like, there's nothing there. <laughs> I don't know. I read a lot. But maybe you guys I naturally do. I, like, no, I different ideas from my like, different books. So, um, you guys got week 10 out? Did you get week 10 out? Go ahead and get week 10 out. And then, ah, oh, I need to get a new marker. And my toolbox. Let's see, me, I can move the toolbox over here. It's really hard to get around in this room. <laughs> um, you'll need a lined piece of paper. Thank you. Hopefully this one works. Uh, it's better. Trying to sort it. Here's my paper. And you know the drill. Put your name. Today's date is one eight twenty four. I know. Finally. Finally. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad it's twenty four. I've been waiting for twenty four. Yeah. Been waiting. I've been waiting for this. Oh, I know. I yeah. can't believe it's January and we finally right? got our first snow. It doesn't yeah. seem right. Usually yeah, and it, was it doesn't seem right. anything. I know. First day of flooding. Right? Like, like, Okay, go ahead and write this down, guys. Do you get a lot? Name, date, unit five, skip the line, unit five, writing from pictures. So we're, we already know how to do a story sequence chart. We know how to write. Just one. Just one. Um, and so we're moving into this creative writing, like I said. So... Instead of reading articles, we're only going to have pictures to look at, okay? And there will be three pictures to start, but we'll look at those in a second. Um, yep, you write that, skip a line, and go to the edge here, and put central, central fact. Remember central fact, that is what is actually happening in the picture, okay? I'm gonna put what is literally, you guys know what that means, right? Literally in the picture. We're just kind of taking notes, so it doesn't have to be perfect, okay, guys? It However you- have to be perfect. Except for Paisley, it has to be perfect actually, for her. Actually, that's not me. <laughs> I'm sure you- you're not the only one in, in this room. <laughs> what is literally in the picture? Um, so we'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. And then skip a line and put details.
when you think, you automatically ask yourself questions inside your head. It, it's natural. You don't even realize it's happening. So, like, if somebody tells you something, you automatically think, why is she telling me that? And how did she know that? And where did she get her information? And I wonder why she feels that way. I mean, you automatically do that in your head. And when you start practicing that, asking yourself questions about things, you're practicing thinking. And that's good for you because as you grow up and you hear information like about politics and crazy stuff going on in the world, mm -hmm. then you can ask yourself questions to verify, is that real? And where did that information come from? And all of those kinds of skills, thinking skills, are really, really good to start practicing. And so this is just a simple, easy way to start that. But when you look for details about your story that you're writing, you're gonna ask questions. I'm gonna put another colon there. So there's the big six. You guys remember what the big six questions are? There's six of them. The words. Oh, when, why, uh -huh. where. Do you remember what order? No. Who, what, when, where, why, before, after, Oh, you went beyond six. Who? I did cheat. <laughs> Who, what? I did. You, did you cheat? You're admitting. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who, what, when, where, Although I why, one, two, three, four, oh, five, oh, oh. and how. Mm -hmm. You added some extras, which we will in a second. And then I just want you to put a giant question mark there, just for fun. <laughs> Is this format driving you crazy right here? Oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> these are the questions you ask when you think about something. These are the questions that mull around in your head. If you hear your stomach growling, you might start thinking, when is dinner and what are we going to eat and where is my mom <laughs> i can't you know where is the you know the cereal or the bread the pizza whatever yes so you automatically ask these questions in your head and you're thinking about what you're going to eat or why is my stomach growling i just ate five minutes ago <laughs> um okay and then i want you to draw a line under that and you're right <laughs> i know sorry there are a few extra questions that we can ask about this part. So what were they again, Victoria? After, outside. Outside. What? Oh, outside. it starts, okay, so we're gonna go in this order. Outside, that sounds weird, but it, when you're looking at a picture, you can look, you can imagine more what's happening outside the border of the picture. That's what that means. Outside of the frame of the picture, not outside the room, but like if you're looking at a picture, what's happening outside the picture. And actually another word to put is invisible. What? Because there might be what's invisible that you cannot see. You can make this stuff up, right? Are there aliens actually in the room in the picture and nobody sees them? You can create crazy stuff like that, okay? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, some people think that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> right? People also have underground bunkers for the foresight zombie apocalypse. Well, you know, they might be the smart ones. Who knows? <laughs> My grandma is all like, she thinks the world's going to end. Well, she thinks she's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> No, but she thinks like the 80s are going to come or whatever. She has like a pet. She like, like a bunch of stuff in there. I'm like, because like, of the world ends, she's going to have all this stuff to make her crazy. <laughs> Wow. Oh yeah. Well, some people, I mean, there's stuff like that out there. I'm sure you've heard on YouTube or wherever, you know, there's stuff floating around out My there. My dad's but... crazy. He wants to buy a bunch of gold just in case of mm -hmm. the apocalypse. Wow. Mm -hmm. No, I, I don't know if that's crazy or not. Maybe he's the smart one. You know. I mean, they say stuff like the banks are all going to close down and the cash dollar is not going to be worth anything. And I mean, no, we're going to have money in the bank, people. Long the long be now. <laughs> all right. So basically, as you're writing these stories, we'll stay away from conspiracy, okay? <laughs> but you are going to ask these questions as you look at the pictures that we're about to look at. So once you get those questions all written down in your notes, go ahead and look at page...
put it in my left foot. Mm -hmm. so. I got a kid. Oh, well, you know, my sister got a bit too, Emma. Yeah. 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 Are those the red, white, and blue ones? Mine is red. Red? Mine is red with white. My baby sister got a little kid. Mine almost died. Already it almost died? No, but the but it was also kind of my fault because... Did you forget? No. I got it like two weeks ago. Oh, okay. So you know what the kids are when they're in that little boxy container with a hole in the top? Yeah. Well, we also got some snails, so I put them all in a pencil bag and... um. Snails fell in the water. No. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> that was wait, wait, wait. Whoa, wait. Okay, you got a fish and snails. Yeah. Well, but there's snails in the water. Backyard. There's aquatic the snails. snails. To clean the. Oh, oh, like the oh, water. oh, that makes more sense. Okay. Okay. Because the snails were like in their own yard. So okay. <laughs> and um, his his little container tipped over because it had a hole in the top and. And most of the water spilled out until there was like this much. Oh up. no! And then I noticed, and then I um kind of tilted it so that there was enough water in the little pool. That's and I kept them alive till we got home and dumped it in the fish tank. Wow! And then he was okay. Yeah. He was like, he was like gasping yeah. for water, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like SpongeBob when he gets out of the water. Been there for like thirty or forty minutes before I noticed. It's a good thing he didn't die. I was like, that's awesome. Okay, look at page ninety-three in your packet that you just got out from week ten. Page ninety-three. These are the pictures you're gonna look at. <laughs> so we're just going to kind of talk about it for a minute and then I'm going to have you start taking notes on here you can write on this page once we get to that point but remember central fact right here next to Roman numeral one that's your topic so that's exactly what is literally in the picture that's what we're going to put as far as your keywords for your outline are going to go next to the Roman numeral what is literally in the picture so let's just look at the first box What's literally in the picture? What do you guys see? It's, he's happy. There's a boy, right? We're guessing it's a boy. Happy. What is he doing? Opening he's opening a box. a box. Opening a box. Yes, present. That's pretty much it. You don't mail I mean, we're going to say it's a boy. He's happy and he's opening a box. We don't know yeah. if it's a present or if it's from Amazon or. <laughs> If it's his birthday, we don't know if it's Christmas. We don't know if it's... Aside from his grandma. Maybe. His grandma, his family. It's your birthday. Like, your birthday is June and it's December. So, it could be, like, he got a good grade on a hard test or something and he got a reward. I don't know. We don't know what, what the situation is. But we can say well, the central fact. I'm going to erase this. Do you guys already have that? I'm imagining that his grandma thinks it's his birthday and she sent him a present. Oh, yeah. And his birthday is in like four months. Oh, that's weird. Okay, you don't have to write this down. This is, I'm just making this that looks like what you have in front of you on your actual page. So, Roman numeral two. One, two, three, four, five, Roman numeral three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, central fact we have a boy. Um, are we going to call it a, yes, let's give him a name. How about that can be, how about that can be part of what our did you story? Say? David. Billy. How about we can make Bob. that up? As Bob. Part Billy of our Bob. Story? <laughs> Bob, <laughs> Bob. Bob Joe. Bob Joe. 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 Put a name. Know, David. Whatever Who's name. And he's, uh, is it a gift or is it a package? We don't know. We'll say gift, maybe. And I'm going to just draw a happy face since you got three words there already, okay? We have three words. Well, this will be his oh. name. Okay. That's a central fact. That's just literally what's in the picture. Charles. There you go. Whatever you guys want to name him. That'll be his name. Now, this is where you get to use your creative juices, because I have a feeling you're way more creative than me. Um, we're just going to look ahead, though, to see what's happening next. Look in the middle picture right here. What do you think is happening literally in that picture? He's drawing a drum. 
He's happy and his we think is maybe a drug. Yeah, he's looking. Parents at him. are spying. And he's a family little spying on him. Child in the background. Why would he be outside? During a purge? Yeah. <laughs> like uh, oh my gosh, purge. What does that mean? Like I, I have a feeling it means something different for you than it does. <laughs> 24 hours where everything was legal and people locked themselves inside the house. It's the movie, right? I remember that movie. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's creepy, but okay. Could be that. Um, And the parents are all happy, like, <laughs> maybe they're clone. I don't know. Okay, so it looks like mom and dad, maybe little brother here inside. They're inside the house. There's a party duck in the house. Oh, where? I totally fell for that. And like, no. I mean, you know, you can have long hair and still be a boy. So I'm just <laughs> guessing. Total guess. Okay, so outside here, we have the boy. He's looking up, and that's why I think you guys think it's a drone. It doesn't have to be a drone. It could be Wait, like, a, like a model airplane like a model or something. Airplane. Or a, a blimp, a model blimp Whoa. or something. Wow. <laughs> Do you know what a blimp is? Yeah. <laughs> why is that weird? Well, because it's not like the thing you would see at Walmart. <laughs> That's true. Okay, so he's happy. All right. And then, so, and then the drone catches into the neighbor's house. Oh my god. He's. I'm gonna put here next oh, to. You. Remember, this is literally what. Birthday and boom. What's in the picture? I'm gonna put outside. Um. Flying, and you can decide what he's flying, and he's still happy. So I'm gonna put a smiley face on him. Let's do a oh, I like this. Wait, that's why it's not drone. I know, but you don't have to. You still yeah, don't have to deal that. You can, you can call it a drone. Bro. Oh, you can call it Luke. Was that what the Luke? Yeah. Call it Luke? What's his name? I put Charlie. Hitler? Did you just say Hitler? <laughs> <laughs> like, whoa, whoa, this just like, took a total well, change. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Graham. Okay, third picture. What is happening literally in the third picture? What do you see? Crashed. What? He crashed it. So we don't see that he crashed it, but he crashed it in the neighbor's car windshield. That. <laughs> Sad Surprise. or maybe worried, oh, wow. yeah, are like uh, sad. concerned, yeah. concerned, sad, maybe sad. What sad. about look at dad's face? He's like, uh -oh. I know, he's like, uh, uh, money like down the drain. <laughs> <laughs> and the mom's like, I don't know. <laughs> or maybe she has like her hand on her hip and looks all sassy in the first picture. <laughs> maybe he crashed her greenhouse. Yeah, so, so that and then and then the dad's like, oh, don't play well with her. Well, the mom's not. Yeah, but well, it's a bad thing to say. No, family. I'm just gonna put here family shocked. Um, that how clumsy he is. <laughs> worried, maybe. I'm just and you can do different words if you want. This is where you get to. I'm gonna do a sad face there. So. Okay, those are the obvious literal. Yeah. Wait, it's the word. It is. Okay. Yes. <laughs> um. So from here, these are your details. This is where you get to get creative. Like, okay, we know that he's opening something, but we don't know what it is. And this is where you can decide: is it his birthday? Is it Christmas? Is it or whatever fun. yeah just for fun uh, just because yeah maybe i don't know and then what what he does with it so let's look at just to brainstorm with you i heard uh mia say greenhouse like he crashed it in the greenhouse <laughs> <laughs> it's not camaro <laughs> man c camaro i think it's c-a-m e-r-o i think it's e-r-o i think it's o-r-o Camaro, oh, like the car. Yeah. yeah. Is it? No, like the food. Cause she looks like Camaro. <laughs> but that's what I'm doing. Like, You're uh, feeling no, it like today. Oh, you got it. Oh yeah, it's an A. Wait, A R O. Oh, yeah, okay. A. Oh, Cause it looks like Camaro, like Camaro. Right. I caught up to. I could have just. A R O. Yeah. Oh, I was close. Yeah, me too. No, 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 no. Wait. <laughs> Um, the neighbor get, like, got a new car and it's like, oh, Ooh. Like, no, well, it's a mess. Yeah. Did you guys hear that? What if 
What if, what if the neighbor just got in a car and it was parked outside in the driveway? And then it, like, and then it, and then the drunk, like, like, and then the drunk, 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 like, what? And he's flying, and it flies over into the Dodger Stadium and totally disrupts. Well, that would be a bummer, but the drunk could get caught. What? And start fighting. Start fighting? Oh no! You know, some parents get a little too intense. I'll just say that. <laughs> For games and stuff, you know? Have you ever seen that? I know you have, but yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, like a physical fight? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's bad. They're missing the whole point of supporting their kid. <laughs> that's a bummer. Okay, well, so I guess that could be happening, though. Maybe he's flying over a fight. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> he's recording it. Well, he yeah, looks worried. Maybe he's worried about the fight. Oh, oh, that's bad. You have long hair. It went to his sister's hair. She's like, oh, oh, really? <laughs> he's like, oh, no, no, no. The mom's like, the mom looks like. She's like, like, like messed up her flower, just like, oh, yeah, flower flower bag, but they get like through the ground into yeah, a flower. The possibilities are endless. The possibilities are literally <laughs> endless. No, I'm thinking like the mom was more shocked than the rest of them. Like, okay. <laughs> so go, let's go back to the first picture. You guys are going to chip away at this on your own with your own thoughts and your own ideas here. But remember, three key words. I said three keywords. <laughs> three keywords, each number, and then you're gonna just think of, ask yourself some questions like, why did the boy get a gift? So for number one, why did he get a gift? Was it his birthday? Was it Christmas? Was it so for number one? And I'll do this with you, but you do your own, like however you think. I'm gonna say it's his birthday. And uh he was hoping for a, this is me just making this up, Mom. Uh, what? I think I have kind of a cool idea. What if he had like just had his birthday and just been like this kid, I really want him to get married or something. Or <laughs> okay, well, I'll <laughs> <I'm just laughs> <gonna, laughs> He's got a boyish face, okay? <laughs> yeah, he hasn't really matured all the way yet. No, he's still in the middle of his stomach. I'm not saying hi. So that's a Camaro. Do you want to have a Camaro? A Camaro? Listen, listen, he wants a Camaro. So, like, I don't know. I'm saying how I'm judging this part is, but. Never mind. No, 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 I'm listening. I'm listening. Go, 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 go. Try, try, try. Okay, what happened? That, that's kind of it. No, we like, went here. He gets, he gets in whatever the thing he gets in the boxes, like whatever you guys make it, and like fly into his own car, and then. <laughs> oh, it's like a scavenger hunt kind of thing where it flies into his gift. Oh no! No, he's dead. No, she no, means like she he flies the Camaro, or she flies the boat <laughs> into the car, <laughs> and then it breaks the car. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, <laughs> just throw both of his gifts. Both of his gifts. <laughs> he got a new car for his and birthday a and a drone and yeah, he crashed his drone. Yeah. Take the house right? A mansion. <laughs> yeah, just Okay, so he's hoping for a Camaro. It doesn't look like a <laughs> And then he's hoping for a Camaro. And then, so we don't. Oh, no, don't put my ideas up there. I'm just putting that. You don't have to write that. The rest of you, I'm just. I, that Wait, was the one that just are we supposed to be like writing that down now? You're writing, yes, write down now what you oh, want. Oh, I bet you might write it later. For we... For our homework, you're going to do the paragraphs. For today in class, you're going to finish this part. Well, okay. Yeah. Right. Well, as far as you can get. As far as you can get. Oh, man. Huh? Yeah, that's a good one. They see what's going on, and they're like, uh-oh. How do I back out? Turn around. Turn around. Where's the turn around button? And then, oh, my gosh. Imagine on the way out, he's crashing into the neighbor's window. Oh. 
<laughs> it just gets more and more tragic the more we talk about this. So this one, focus on only the top box though. I know it's hard, but try to only look at this top picture for the one through five here at the top under number one. Does that make sense? Under Roman numeral one. Don't look ahead yet. Keep your keywords with, so you got to ask questions like, what was he hoping for? Um, but he's excited. We can say that he's excited. Um, can we say that he gets it done? Yeah. Um, yeah, you can. Shit. I love the eraser. Oh my gosh. Funny. You guys can brainstorm together. Do you have ideas no. over there, Ellie? Kind of sort of. You sound like maybe more like me, where it's like harder to do this yeah, stuff. Like, I have a really good idea. So he's looking for like his little Easter egg stuff, right? Wow. So he opens his grandpa's ash box, right? With her cremated remains. The, the box in the. the little thing. You were right. Well, somebody did yeah. yeah. ash. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Question. The king of Fortnite. I was like, we should stop. And then what is die. what does he find in the ashes of his grandma? Of where to find the remote control for the grandma? <laughs> so you like the scavenger hunt idea, huh? Yeah. Okay. That's okay, a good one. Getting like a little bit creepy and technical. <laughs> <laughs> like, why would you open your grandma like you made it in a cardboard box? That is not right. Why laughing? That's why. They live in a cardboard box. No, like like it's my grandma. In a coffee pot. <laughs> Oh, like, that's kind of well, cute, though. That's cool. That, that see, that makes more sense than a cardboard. Like, like, yeah. yeah. It represents all the boxes. Yeah. All the boxes that are Yeah. Okay, keep going. Try to finish this first box. one. I, I think, I think so. You got the first one. Okay. She's on top of it. Don't don't let him make it. Okay. No, you're fine. You're fine. You can keep it. Is wrapping paper one or two words? Two words. What? What? Two words, wrapping paper. But you could do wrapping P. <laughs> the letter B, all right, for paper. If you're trying not to use two words, I'm just, <laughs> just like, trying to help you think of how to abbreviate. Oh, I could just draw a piece of paper. <laughs> or draw a piece of paper. There you go. Wait, three words, right? First, like, line. This one here? Yeah. Yeah. This was like the name. So, like, Bob. Or whatever you decide to name him. He kind of looks like a Peter. Is that page the second one? Yes, you can keep going. Yep. And try to keep each each group of um, information, the details and stuff, keep it with the picture. So like that first one goes with that picture. You know what I mean? Try not to get ahead of yourself there. <clears throat> And try to keep it to three words. Why are you looking at me for two? Because I'm looking that at those words. <laughs> I'm just watching. That feels judgy. That feels like great. Great dance, Becky. Becky? <laughs> yeah. Great Aunt Becky? <laughs> Do you have a great Aunt Becky? No. So I don't buy my. <laughs> Somewhere along the line. Somewhere I way back when. And a great aunt. Karen. Great you probably aunt. want to leave like real people out of your story. <laughs> 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 Let's just make it fictional, it. okay? <laughs> Robert J. What? Oh, did you see that movie? No. I oh. Oh, well, I think it's probably not rated for your age. Because it's a little violent, I think. I'm not, not that. I'm just saying. I'm not promoting that, okay? <laughs> I know that movie, though. What did you say, Serena? Wow. Which one are you on? Are you down here? Are you still working? No, I'm still on the. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. Uh, 
Maybe yeah. something about okay, the okay. instructions okay. being complicated or something like that. Because you know how you open up a box that's something like a drone and you're like, how does this thing go together? Where does the, where's the on button? Mm -hmm. Very good. How do you, how do you uh, turn it on? Maybe that could be part of your top box if you're still looking for ideas. Are you stuck? No, I'm trying to think of symbols. Or, or something like good. Good. Or, Let's start. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, that's what I would do. Some people draw a thumbs up, but I have no idea how to draw that. So I do a star. <laughs> Did that help you fill that one in? Okay, good. Thumbs up. Well, you are an artist, so wow. That's kind of what they want. I wouldn't even know how to do that. So if you're done with the top box, go ahead and move on to this one where he's just, he's having a good time in the middle there, flying around. Maybe he starts doing tricks with it. And maybe he, say that again? Oh. Oh. Uh, or it goes out of range and then it starts flying by itself. That in the wind. He got like a drone and he was flying it around and then it went out of range and so it couldn't like. Oh no. Thing, and then just kept, kept going. going. Oh no. That's the worst. I saw on Facebook the other day somebody took a picture of a drone and they're like, does this belong to anyone? It was in my backyard. <laughs> they're like, it just fell in their backyard. I see that. Well, well, you can't do that with it without the remote. Yeah. Look up one. Look on the brand and be like, just one remote. <laughs> you just saw it run It's like the real you comes it out, would right? Spin. It would probably be. It's in my yard. It's my yard. It's my yard. It's my yard. You're well, so no, funny. like you can just like look at the brand, like if no one would fly. Yeah. Well, then people might be like, wait, for a moment. If you couldn't find the remote, then you come there. there. That's the. <laughs> so, you know. I guess that is a good point, though. You could call the company and say, I, I well, it would be a lie, though. So, <laughs> so <laughs> you go on, you look at the thing. There you is. have the drone. The drone is working good. You don't have a remote, though. You you just go online and you look up the brand and then you're like, oh, one order, just a remote. Because you can't do that. Only order a remote. Then you get the remote and you're like, yeah. Okay, okay. Like, I free see, I see. <laughs> Are you guys working on this one? You, you, you getting it? I know you did. You like, no? Okay, do we need to help you with some ideas? I just need to feel the, the vibe. You need to feel the vibe. Yeah. Well, did you figure out what it is in his box? Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> it's a drum. Okay. So you got that. I got a little car. So Yours is a flying car? No. Oh. <laughs> well, it is. It hit a ramp. Going. That's why he's looking. Ah. It hit a ramp. Going up the mountain. That's a good one. That's a good one. Good. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, How's yours coming, Asia? On the top one? Okay. Remember, you're looking, think about those question words we wrote down. Who, what, when, where, why. So maybe who gave it to him? There's another one you could use in the top. Great Aunt Becky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, his old grandpa's and um, left it for him. This is his <laughs> Wow, that's like a hip grandpa right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, another question could be. Let's see. Oh, did you guys hear me earlier? I suggested to Serena like how to put it together. Maybe it's you know how sometimes they come, you have to piece it together, like like Legos maybe. But you have to figure out how to put on the propellers and put on, you know, the wheels. I don't know. Wheels? I don't know. Do they have wheels? No. No, no. The, the legs? Do they have legs? Yeah. Well, oh, they have to land on something. That on the bird. You catch it. Oh. Sometimes. Sometimes they do have legs. Sometimes they have, like, those four little, like, all the Like a stand or something on it. Actually, my dad wants to get one that you can, like, support. If I have a... With a camera on it, because our neighbors might be... 
growing marijuana plants. And so he oh, wants yeah. to go and like take a picture of him. He like spy. Yeah, him and the other guys in Hard Flat Road. Oh my gosh. He gets caught and then like he takes a break off the Oh yeah, my like, gosh. Like, a whole bunch of other people into Hard Flat, like just tiny people from nowhere. Like, oh no. Like, it's a weird game. Oh, and yeah, that's a that's a concern. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's a concern. I did not hear you just say that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my God. It kind of sounds like a sting operation. <laughs> it's kind of cool. It's like, it's like yeah. <laughs> But they're kind of noisy, so they might hear it. They are the noisy, but they're never home. Oh, okay, well, then that would work. How do they not want their land? They have, like, people working there, but, like... Oh, well, like, okay. What are they going to do, like, at night? Oh, there you go. You need like, night they're... vision. Yeah. <laughs> night vision. Camera. Yeah, like, there you, like, you go. Is it nighttime? Like, what time of day is it? That could be something to ask. Obviously, it's like No, I mean, it doesn't have to be. No, it's not loud. What if well, there's, like... see what you that's why, uh, that's why he's like, okay. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> she had an answer for that. Well, All right. well, they know what he's doing because they're like surprised. How could they see you? It's not that the question. No, I'm just <laughs> Maybe it has lights on it. Maybe it's lit up like a but, spaceship. Yes, that would be an expensive I'm back to aliens. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know why I'm back to you. I just okay. that. I was like, oh, it's a great day. I'm back to you. I was like, yeah. What else do we need to um, talk about? Oh, oh, wait. Great Aunt Patty. Yeah. My, my, oh, we have to add. Okay, I'm gonna give you just a few more minutes because we do have some more band words to put on it. Yeah, Did you say you disagree? Yeah, with the band words. Yeah, I'm not even gonna have. And then let's just run a little late. And then Wait. So your goal is to finish your outlines. If you finish them in class, that's even better. And then you just work on your paragraphs. If, okay, I'm going to give you this too, because I relate to some of you, and I'm not going to name any names, who are having a hard time filling this out, because I have a hard time too. So if you're having a hard time filling this out, and it's easier for you to just go right into the story, I'm okay with that. I'm better. I'm okay with that. I'm hungry. That's nice, Serena. Okay. Anyways. Um. <laughs> your goal though this week is to is to write your story, okay? And then look at the tan color page you got. This is for different a different oh, set tan. of is that tan? That's tan to me. Maybe yeah, yellow. Like yellow. Peach. 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 It is tan. Tan right down the side of the page. Tan. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know. Why did you say that? They all say that. I know. I'm gonna tan the blue. Or Wait, does it say it? Here's a yellow one. Does it say it on there? Yeah, it does. Oh, it does. On average, yes, it does. It I did not on? know that. No. No. <laughs> no. No. There you go. Yeah, they're flapping. <laughs> How are they supposed to know it's white? <laughs> I'm going to erase this. You guys don't need to. Right? No. How are we supposed to know? Okay, so on this, you're going to add, this is, these are band Adjectives. That blue page where you had band words, those were verbs. These are adjectives. No. Uh huh. So that first box, you're gonna write the word good. And the second box, <laughs> you're gonna write the word bad. All right. Oh, bad. These are these are banned now. Good and bad. Great. Great. Now there's no limit. No so good and bad. There's no good and bad. <laughs> well, it's all it's a mix of whatever you think is right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so give me some new words for good. Wonderful. Like, oh, wonderful. Yes. Great. Great. Yeah. How about okay. we using a new word? Amazing. Because these are adjectives. So these are not, the, the blue list was verbs. Like eat, ate. Ooh. I didn't notice that. Amazing. How do you spell well, extraordinary? <laughs> I know, I'm guessing right now, but I think. It's like, extraordinary. Yes. Okay. So that, I think that is correct. Extraordinary. Mm -hmm. Even though when you say it, it's extraordinary. <laughs> You guys are safe with me. I'm in the same boat. <laughs> We're like, <laughs> wait, are these the different ones? Good and bad. Terrific. Yes. Okay. Terrific. Terrific. 
Does that have two extra R's? amazing? Extraordinary. We already got that. We just put that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whoa, it's all right. It's all right. Do you have that page, Asia? It should be with week 10. I don't know why. Outstanding. Not oh, you got it. Okay, yeah. let's go ahead and take that out. It's outstanding sort of thing. Yeah, outstanding is good. Um, Incredible. Joyful. Incredible. <laughs> Both of those are good. <laughs> Incredible. Can you believe that? Did you, you like wait? Yeah. What did you say? <laughs> joyful. <laughs> I don't. Is no, joyful that's good? Not, uh, I don't know. know. Probably not. That'd be more with happy, I think. Um, yeah. Um. Oh my god. Fantastic. Wait. Do I have to go? <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. Let me hear Asia. Oh, gooder. Gooder. Goodest. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's a hard no. <laughs> wait, not wait, a word. Gooder is a sunglasses. Bet. Maybe it's it's actually not a word. I I mean, you know. Best. Best. It's Best. not a word. Oh. <laughs> Best. 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 Even if it was, it wouldn't work because good it would be like the base word. So keep thinking. Keep thinking. Um, astonishing. Ooh. Great. Right? Fantastic. Yeah, but that's more like the yeah, probably. Maybe. Awesome. We'll put a question mark by that one. I'm not sure. Um, oh, what if we're talking about food? The food tastes Shop. good. The food tastes uh, extraordinary. Food tastes we already have that. Oh. <laughs> well, we could say delicious. Right? Perfect. Perfect. Well, now we have eat eight, so we don't really need yeah. it. Perfect. You don't think we need that? Yeah, because delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's going to text her. Yeah. Let's go on to bad. Perfect. What about bad? No taco. It's horrible. Delicious. Awful. So. Oh, okay. Horrible. Terrifying. Wait, does terrible. that have two R's? I think it does. Horrible. It's it's awful. Terrifying. Ter horrible. Awful. Terrible. Um, what awful. Horrific. Devastating. Horrific. Devastating. Just sad. Disaster. <laughs> That's like <laughs> disaster. How about disastrous? Disastrous. Awful. Gross. Gross. That oh, works. <laughs> yeah. How do you spell gross? That's crazy. I don't know about awful. Do you have an e in it? No, awful. That's how you spell. Okay, good. Wait, do we have awesome on the other one? I think so. Oh. Oh, no, we don't. We need awesome. Uh, I know, it's like, it's full. <laughs> <laughs> the one's running out of space. Worst. Um, Traumatizing. No, worst. I don't know. I just can't remember. Wait. Oh. We have horrible and perfect. That'll work. That's okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Did you have one? No, oh. I just don't think Oh, okay. <laughs> um, lousy. It's not one we lazy. use. Lazy. Uh, lazy. False myth. Yeah. False? <laughs> yeah, that might work. <laughs> Blue? Right. Oh. <laughs> it's like, oh, is that like depression? Like depressing. depressing. Oh, this is strong. Well, I have to take the feel down. Like, oh my God. Like, wait, depressing. You, feel, you could say depressing. I think depressing. I don't remember any yeah, I yeah, I'm I'm done. I don't have any more. Okay. Um, actually, all right. So on, let's just look really quick at your checklist. Notes. Yeah, how short you are. That is on page ninety-seven. Look at your checklist with me, really quick. It's page ninety-seven. By the way, just a little friendly reminder that you must follow this checklist. I know some of you still are not quite following it, but you must go through and include. All of these dress ups, you've got one, two, three, four, five. L Y, who, which, strong verb, because clause, and quality adjective. That's new, huh? Is that a new one? 
Yeah. Quality, Quality adjective. adjective. I think that that's a new one for you. Let me check. Yes, because we used to stop at because. So now you have five that you have to include. These are quality adjectives. All of these are quality adjectives. Okay. You can use these or anything you can think of to describe something. Like um, if you're talking about the drone and you're describing it's like the latest super duper five. 550 turbo, whatever name of the drone. That can be a quality adjective. Or your super turbo. There you go. You can give it. That's what you can put on your um, outline is what type of a drone is it? Super BTW 17. There you go. See, like that. You can get some details about what the drone does if it automatically returns to you or if it doesn't. Like a boom. Well, like if it goes out of range instead of just going off and just bye bye. That it will turn around like a boomerang. Okay. <laughs> but, but boomerangs are um, drops. But boomerangs are powered by the force of gravity. What? Oh, yeah. That it is a science. There's a science behind it. Seriously, I don't know what it is. But anyway, that's your homework this week: is writing those three paragraphs. Follow the checklist. Any questions about what you guys are doing? Okay, good. If you need to not do the outline and just go for the writing i'm okay with that okay. we're done bye bye